Nearly 8,000 miles away, Ginger's live from Victoria Falls on the border between Zimbabwe and Zambia. All morning long, we've been showing you live how majestic the falls are. They're one of the seven natural wonders of the world, but there are also entire communities of people that live on its banks and are planet changes, well, so does the falls. So it affects both the wildlife and the villages nearby. So let's go back to Ginger, who's having a great time there in Africa. Good morning again, Ginger. Good morning to you, Robin, and good morning, everybody. Robin, I know that you've seen the glory of these waterfalls, but it really was glorious for us to meet the people who survive on this water and see a lot of the animals that use this as an artery to their life. The rushing water plummeting 34 stories. The sound and mist heard and seen for miles. And we're heading to an island right in the middle of it all. So a speedboat is going to be how we get to the edge of the falls. This is the Zambezi River. We are on the Zambia side. And like so many great waterfalls around the globe, the river and the falls separate countries. We're going to go to Livingstone Island, where we can see Zimbabwe. Here we go. This is where we get off. This is Livingstone Island. You've done this forever, right? How many have you lost? Zero. Good morning, America. Here we are in Angel's Pool on the edge of Victoria Falls. That's a 354 foot drop. I don't plan to go over. Daredevils swimming on the edge. Doing it for the gram. To get a great picture. Well, how was it? I saw my light flash before my eyes. But this story is not just about these majestic falls and its voyeurs. It's about the Zambezi River that feeds it. And upstream, the impacts of this latest drought. Wildlife is really, really struggling. This waterfall is really a way of purifying the source and sustaining the lives of those who live along its banks. All through our journey, reminders that the land belongs to the animals. And if the animals are feeling it, the people are too. What is this village named? Mukoni village. Just a few miles from Livingstone Island, village guide Albina Simalonga gives us a tour and a reality check. There's much problems like hunger, you know. So you've seen the hunger? We saw it, yes. And this village relies on tourism. What are these guys doing? Making animals, mm -hmm. different things. Tourism in this village is our main source of income. The falls are a huge part of the economy here. Tourists poured millions of dollars into the region. So when reports suggested Victoria Falls might be drying up, it was alarming. But we need to listen to the message they are telling us. The feeling when you get in here uh, is really not fear, at least not for me. It's very peaceful. The importance of respecting our planet and understanding it. So talented National Geographic photographer with me here, Nicole Sobecki. And Nicole, uh, we've been talking, and I know that the U.S. and China, China being number one, China, uh, U.S. number two right now, are the biggest carbon emitters. But you told me something interesting yeah. about Africa. That's exactly right. Right now, the U.S. and China are the largest emitters. But we have to remember that the historic record for carbon emissions is held by the U.S. Mm. Throughout history, we have put more carbon into the atmosphere than any other country. And you have to realize that we're 4% of the population, and we're responsible for somewhere between a quarter to a third of all global carbon emissions. Wow. If you compare that to where we are right now, you know, 54 African nations making up this vast continent have contributed a mere 4%. Wow. That's a stark contrast. And it's especially poignant when you realize that this is the continent, Africa, that's most at risk for many of the negative effects of climate change and carbon emissions being related to climate change. So That's what's warming our planet. Stunning, stunning information here, guys. It really is, Ginger. On a personal level, what are each of you going to take away from being in such a special place? Uh, I'll let Nicole start. Right. Um, I mean, standing here in front of this amazing, awesome power of the flaws, it's so clear to me the intimate ties between ourselves and the natural world, between Africa and the rest of the globe. And that makes me think about our responsibility and the choices that we're making. You know, climate change doesn't have borders. Um, 
you know, if we're going to move forward and we're going to adapt to the challenges to come and those already underway through climate change, we have to do that together. So it makes me think about the choices I can make, the responsibility I have, and what we can do collectively to help take care of our planet. That was the best answer, but I'll try to follow <laughs> that up. I would say the interconnectedness of us is fascinating, yeah. Yeah. but also it's really about to me, I, I edge on fear yeah. sometimes, but this has made me very hopeful hopeful uh, that there are people doing the right thing. There are parts yeah. of Africa, you were telling me, where plastic yes. uh, bags have been banned and you even get fined. So yeah. I feel like there are things we can do to clean this planet up and I know people are doing them. We just have to start. We, we can do a lot better and we need to. We're feeling it, Robin. <laughs> I can tell. It's gorgeous and it's so powerful to, to have you there. And I, I got to say, I follow Nat Geo on Instagram. The pictures, beautiful. the stories, absolutely beautiful and really bringing us all together. So safe travels back home, both of you. And thank you for being Amazing there for job, us. Ginge. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you, and you know, you heard all the talk about climate change and how it's affecting them there, but climate change is also hitting us here at home as well. And tomorrow we're gonna to tell you what you can do to help. So mm -hmm. not talk about it, be about That's it. That's right. Well, hey there, GMA fans, Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.